What's up, everybody? Thrall's Metal here once again. I'm the Croc Nick. I'm Jam and John. And we have an album review for you, or in this case, a split to review for you, because we saw this on the radar. We like both bands. We imagined that this was going to be like one of the heaviest, filthiest splits uh, that we've heard this year, judging by the band's previous output. And I think we were kind of right. So we are going to go over the latest split from Night Hag and Burial, Utterances from Below. This comes out on the 10th of November on Rotted Life Records. Now, as for the bands, Night Hag formed in 2010 in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I actually covered their last album, Phantasmal Scourge, I believe in a collection update, or it might have been a solo review. I can't remember which one I did, <laughs> but I know I really enjoyed it. And then Burial formed in 2012 in Italy, and I actually covered their... Oh my god, this title is so long-winded. Inner gateways to the slumbering equilibrium at the center of Cosmos. Like, there's got to be a way to shorten that down, but they did That didn't. was one take. Yeah. That was one take. We usually my have to god. edit it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I covered that in a collection update. Absolutely soul-crushing death doom with a lot of love for Lovecraftian horror. And both of these bands are just flat out death doom. I honestly didn't know about this split until like this week. And both of these bands, uh, again, like they do death doom, but they do it differently. And man, this is like a lethal combination of just Dude. insanely heavy, slow lumbering music. Yeah, both of these are soul crushingly heavy. Like being that it's a split, you know, after we got through Night Hag, we were like, all right, Let's see what Burial brings to the table, and man, just knockout punches. Every fucking song on this split is a knockout punch. Yeah, uh, it's just gross, disgusting, both in terms of production, because they both had different producers, they absolutely just give you the most caustic, heavy, thick, almost just bordering on too much. I will say, like, right away with uh, Night Hag Side, which starts it off, the opening track, Dead Person On You, <laughs> I don't I don't know about that song <laughs> title. Like, was there something going on? It was, like, a coitus thing, and then whoever croaked, <laughs> like, you know, mid-vinegar strokes? I don't know. What an unfortunate time that would be. You doing okay up there? Oh, ah! no. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off. <laughs> I mean, they did. But that song immediately explodes into blast beats and giant grooves. And man, let me tell you about this production because we're gonna. Uh, man, it is insanely heavy. Like, it sounds like everything was just dimed in terms of just giving it the most gnarly tone available for every and, instrument. And, and cranked to 12. Like, they gave no fucks about having that as loud as humanly possible and just... Man, the nastiest, gnarliest, grittiest guitars, a film of murk on top of everything. There is such a sizzle to the guitars. It's, you know, I don't know if it's so much of a sizzle. It's like, I don't know, like boiling, except it's boiling vomit, which goes really well with a moldy slab of human meat, which is the third track on here, and it's absolutely gross. But... What they do is, you know, a lot of like that very kind of like classic death metal, death doom style. Like you get the hard pivots from faster material to the slowest, nastiest, dankest, <laughs> just gross death doom breakdowns. Like very similar to, you know, Incantation, of course. They even say Autopsy, Mortiferum. Early Tomb Mold, not well, Tomb Mold now, although I love Tomb Mold now. Yeah. Um, you know, back when Tomb Mold first started, Manner of Infinite Forms, oh, you know, that yeah. kind of fucking heavy, because there's a bunch of, like, off-kilter dissonant melodies that go through all this, and that's what got me. Dude, Dizma, I mean... Yeah. Oh. Lots of, you know, big droning open riffs, but also, like, huge tremolos, too, and vocals that sit kind of in, like, this perfect kind of nebulous space because sometimes they're back in the mix, sometimes they're in the front, sometimes they kind of move around a little bit. Either way, they sound like some ungodly creature just puking filth into the night, 
Or a haunting scream every now and then. Or even bleh. Yeah, you gotta have bleh. Yep. And I know we talked about moldy slab of human meat and the, uh, you know, the, the variances between the vocals and whatnot, but as much as Night Hag likes to move around in other songs in terms of speed and whatnot, moldy slab of human meat just stays predominantly heavier and doomy than everything else. Like, about as death doom as it gets. It locks in on this main riff, and it kind of just stays with it for the most part. Like, you know, they'll drone it a lot, like, you know, big syncopated, heavy, just chugs. And then they'll switch over and do like a tremolo version of it, still sticking with the same melody. All the while you have these cosmic barf vocals going on in the background that just sound absolutely inhuman. And this is just like one of the most like lumbering, oppressive songs on their side. Uh, foul utterances from the mouth of the void, also absolutely disgusting. But this one kind of pivots back and forth like you even have a really nasty like blast beat section towards yep. the end. While it still says just doomy and murky. But man, it's just insanely heavy across the board. Yep, and the the breakdown at the end of Moldy Slab of Human Meat too, they even kick up the reverb and the snare a little bit more, so not that the drums don't already sound like cannons, but everything hits harder than everything else towards the end of that song. I mean, they kind of have to sound oh. like cannons, because, I mean, the guitar and bass are just so grossly dimed on here, and I absolutely love it. There's a couple of sections on uh, Dead Person On You and Moldy Slab of Human Meat where they isolate the bass, leading into like a breakdown, which you can just hear how disgusting it is. It's almost like the tremor before a giant earthquake because when the breakdowns hit, they're just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it's like staring into the soul of the devil. But yeah, their entire side is just gross and thick. It's like, waiting in tar and Elmer's glue at the same time. You're just stuck there being consumed by it. But compared to Burial, it's a little bit different. I would say Night Hag is like the blunt force trauma side. Sure. It's going right for the riffs, it's going right for the heavy, and the atmosphere is essentially just created entirely by the music in terms of just the riffs being so damn heavy. Yeah, like Night Hag I thought was heavier in a sense like i i don't want to say darker because they're both dark as fuck but like something about night hag definitely separates them from what burial does because burial is pretty much like being slowly consumed by some horrific lovecraftian god and digested and pooped out it is <laughs> pure disgusting evil it definitely plays more on atmosphere dissonance yep. there's a good mix of like morbid angel style tremolos but also like bloodbath heavy just chunkiness it's kind of like those two bands kind of just got together and say hey you want to do a death doom project and, and fossilizations atmosphere yeah opening track called by the tomb just explodes with the most gigantic, cavernous, fucking snarled rift atmosphere. The dissonant melodies. It's definitely more haunting and more creepy, and their songs are a little bit longer. I mean, they only have two tracks in there because one's nine minutes and one's eight minutes, and that is a lot of evil to contain in those songs. But I like how these songs have, like, maybe a little bit more dynamic overall. Yeah. Just in terms of, like, kind of shifting the mood. And in terms of, like, the atmosphere, there's a lot of cool, like, vocal takes where they just add so much reverb to not only growls, but, like, just harrowing screams in the distance, like someone falling into a well or uh, Cthulhu's mouth or whatever. Falling into Cthulhu's mouth. It's under the tentacle beard. We're sure of it. The breakdowns can change from just absolutely soul-crushing to more, like, haunting and creepy. Again, with the more dissonant atmosphere and dissonant riffs in there, kind of similar to, like, uh, Spectral Voice a little yeah. bit, or yeah, debatably Blood Incantation, or even in terms of, like, the overall style of it, uh, Crips, I would say, is very comparable. Yeah. But this first track, Called by the Tomb, it leads you on a very dark, dismal path, and then when you get to the end of it, you get what I would call a world-ending breakdown. Apocalyptic. It is it, the heaviest, just most evil-sounding thing. Like, it's just mind-numbingly heavy, but what they do with these big open chords in terms of effects, like, there's a lot more... I don't know, maybe like sustain or like phaser effects because it sounds There's like a couple, they're, yeah. they're shifting around in there, like get this kind of, you know, whooshing. Kind of like a whirlwind effect almost. Yeah, 
uh, pretty much just surrounding you and just miserable, creepy, crawly things that want to devour your flesh. And then below the crest of waves starts off, I, I think, with Cthulhu coming for you. And it's just this long batch of evil monsters, maybe out on the water or something, I'm not sure. Um, there's definitely waves. Yeah, there, there's something happening, but it like this growl just gets increasingly louder and more present and more in your face. Very long fade in to the, the ensuing riff. Well, it's a really cool fade in because it kind of comes in behind mm -hmm. all this noise and... Like, I think it's like layered vocal attacks and like some, you know, ocean waves. And then you start hearing, you know, the droning riff, the slow, you know, beat that's coming up behind it. And then you hear like some clean guitars and this clean melody on top. This is definitely a comparison to spectral voice there yeah. or like the most evil dark side of dream unending I've ever heard. But yeah, this one starts just slow and lumbering, like Cthulhu crawling on the beach after a long bender of... I mean, he'd probably get, like, drunk eating drunk people, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, don't know. maybe that's his king. I don't know what he I'll does. ask. Yeah. I'll ask him. Yeah, I'll message him on Instagram. Yeah, now, when he shows up to consume us all, like, that's going to be the first question I ask before yep. he inevitably kills us all. But these swirling moments and these, these ambient melodies comes in behind the grossest of evil chugs and the most evil tremolos possible and then the big stank-faced fucking breakdown... So the breakdown on here is just heavy and chuggy. Like they, you know, instead of you know, just doing the single chord thing, which there's plenty of that on both sides here, uh, they kind of, you know, chug it up a little bit. Like there's a little bit of like a triplet chug mm -hmm. behind it. And then contrary to the last one where it just slows down to an absolute crawl and just, you know, just crushes your head in a vice, this one just fires up a chainsaw and then goes like full bore, like old school death metal. It gets a little bit thrashy in spots. Like a little blasty, a little grindy. Yeah. And it's a really cool way to like close this up because generally I was expecting another big, slow, gross breakdown, which I really wouldn't complain about. But I like the fact that they kind of picked up the pace and there are some more up-tempo moments on here, but this split is about the doom and the misery and just being gross and heavy. And my God, uh, this might be the heaviest split I think I've listened to this year. And I've listened to some pretty gnarly ones. Like this one even outdoes that awesome split that uh, Undergang and Spectral Voice did. And I love both of those yeah, bands. Yeah, yeah. I like that both of these bands are definitely different you know, in terms of their approach to Death Doom. They both have like the main components down, but their approach to it definitely makes them stand out. And man, production on both of these, <laughs> like... I'm reasonably sure speakers were fried during the uh, oh, yeah. recording of this because it's it's just so damn heavy. It's in your face. They leave nothing by the wayside as far as the presentation of all of this. It's loud. It's in charge. It's definitely out to get you. It's dirty. It's heavier than most anything. And because I wasn't paying attention for once, this kind of comes as like a really fun surprise. I mean, it's fun if you like, you know, just ugly gross death doom which we love if you don't then it's, well this is not a welcome surprise stay <laughs> away from it it'll scare you uh i'm gonna go ahead and give this four and a half stars i loved every single loud gross second of this like it's just an absolutely foul split both of these bands are putting out some of the best material they've done like and i really like both of their mm -hmm. more recent full lengths too but i don't know there's just something about these songs that are just I don't know, outwardly hostile, evil, malicious. It's dark and heavy, but it also has a lot of just flat-out killer riffs on it. Mm -hmm. This is just a monster of a split. Again, if you're a fan of like any of the bands that we've been bringing up, you know, Fossilization, Incantation, uh, Spectral Voice, any of that shit, definitely check this out. This is just flat-out disgusting and might be the heaviest split I've listened to this year. I'm 100% with Nick. I loved every moment of this, every song. It's hard to pick out a favorite song because they're all just a, a, a one-two gut punch, but you're being punched by demons and Cthulhu and all things evil. And it, the atmosphere is disgusting. It, it's so filthy, I'm going to have to take a second shower and possibly scrub myself with a... Uh, I don't know, a Brillo pad or something? Like, I haven't liked to split this much since uh, a couple years ago, the Ritual Necromancy and Fossilization split, which was... Such a banger. ...gross in its own right, but, like, this is just killer. Yeah, if you're, again, a fan of 
anybody that we've mentioned, anybody that Nick mentioned, fossilization, incantation, um, tomb mold, spectral voice, ritual necromancy. <laughs> I mean, you're 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 gonna love this. And I too was a fan of their previous works, but good God, this is just insanely heavy and and not available on cd yet which i really hope changes but it is available on vinyl and digitally go listen to it it's yep. awesome yep so if you enjoyed this review give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel subscribe because we do stuff like this all, all the, the time. time we are also on patreon if you'd like to help us out there there's a link down below to thrallsofmental.com our patreon link is there it is also on our channel but thrallsmetal.com is where you go to get Thralls Metal stuff. We have new shirts that are absolutely badass. We have old shirts that are on discount right now, and we even have hats right now, so if you're looking for any of that stuff, that is exactly where to find it. And of course, as always, we have tons of stuff going on here at Thralls of Metal. Got some segments coming back. Definitely got, uh, you know, the end of year lists are coming, and for some reason, bands just keep fucking releasing albums over and over and over again, so you probably see some more reviews. The Judas Priest ranking is done. You should see that later this week week we're gonna get on to black dahlia murder eventually tons of things going on but we couldn't do it without you guys thank you all for continuing to uh like our videos and pay attention and watch and talk to us and all the wonderful things that help make thralls of metal not only f into a youtube channel but as a family we appreciate all you guys nick yeah you guys all rule and uh we have again a ton of stuff coming your way so once again thank you all and we will catch you later